Hey guys, I'm here with my son Seth. We're going to talk about uh, when somebody grabs you by the wrist or grabs you by the shoulder or the front of the shirt, something that I matter. First is the uh, the wrist grab. Again, if I, my opponent gets this close to me, I'm not managing distance very well. If I feel like a threat is happening, I want to back up and get my hands up. If he gets too close, I want to immediately get inside and get the clinch. That way I have the option of disengaging or taking my opponent to the ground. So the first thing is I'm standing here. He may come up to, you know, beside me and grab my wrist like this. First thing I want to do, if he tries to pull me somewhere, I want to get my base to where I don't lose my balance and fall down. My other hand is up protecting myself because I'm not so much worried about him grabbing my wrist. I'm worried about him punching me in the face. So I'm here to make sure you know, I can protect my face from the punch. A lot of times when I put both my hands up, I can just break the wrist grip, the wrist grab right here very easily. I'm here and I back up and I have both my hands up. So if he grabs me and I'm here and I can just do that, I'm fine. A lot of times if he grabs me and he's stronger than me, maybe I can't do that. All right, I can just, I want to protect myself. I can just knock that off and I'm back to here just like that. He grabs me. I also have the option of coming around and getting the clinch if I can avoid the punch. All right. If he grabs me with the other hand, a cross grip, I don't want to spend time doing some fancy wrist lock like coming over here, grabbing. Look what this hand's doing. By the time I do all this, I'm knocked out. All right. So if he crawl, I, I want to back up, make sure he can't pull me away. And I'm just going to go away from his power punch and get him in an arm drag situation. And then I can get the clinch and do my takedown where I can control where I want the fight to be. So he grabs me cross, hands up, turn in, arm drag, get the clinch. If he grabs me with both hands, again, I want to get my base, my hands up. But the good news is, He's grabbing me with both hands so I don't have to worry too much about a punch. So I also have punches available to me. If I want to, I can punch him. After I punch him, I can just reach in and grab, and I got my hands up. All right, so he grabs. It's another thing. When you're practicing, don't offer your hand to your opponent to make it easy for them. You're not gonna do that in real life. So you're standing here and make it realistic. Here, punch, reach in, and defend. If someone just grabs you by the shoulder, like this, a lot of instructors show where you come around and come up and break the elbow like this. That's fine, that works, but what you have to worry about is the other hand. Again, so someone grabs me by the shoulder, I'm just, immediately gonna put my hands up. But if I come here, before I can do anything, he's already punching me. So if he grabs me on the shoulder, I would rather keep my hands up, get inside position, and just jack his arm up, come around, and get the clinch. That way I can defend the punch, and I can get the clinch inside. So he grabs, I'm here, I get position, up, come in and get the clinch.